What's up, YouTube? It's Rebecca with a quick video. Today, I come from, again, the parking lot. Uh, today, I'm at Marshall's, though. They just built a new one over here in DFW, and I want to check it out. Um, and I can't, can't remember if I've seen this house um, at any other Marshall's, but um, I remember hearing about this particular fragrance a while back. I can't remember if it was online, in one of the groups, or, or something like that. But someone posted about it, said it smelled really good. One of the best from the house. And it was only uh, 8 bucks, I think, at Marshall's for a small bottle. Um... 47 milliliters, 1.6 ounce. It is from the house of Tokyo Milk, which I've never tried any of these before. XS28, or maybe just XS. I don't know if you guys ever tried this house before or anything, but like I said, I've, I've heard of good things. I looked it up. I don't know if you, if you guys are like me, whenever I walk around in stores, if I find something intriguing, I'll just bust out the old phone and go in for Granica and check out what it's about. Um, so like I said, I don't know too much about this fragrance here. It was only $7.99. It's, uh, it says unisex on Fragranica, so, um, and it's, but it says Eau de Parfum, so we'll see. Um, on um, Fragranica, it is considered a oriental woody. Uh, let's see, the notes are blood orange, amber, patchouli, and oak, which all those sound really good to me. Um, let's see, Dark Collection, it's from the Dark Collection, 2011. It's an unusual fragrance of rich and exciting dark components. Um, got pretty good ratings. Um, Apparently it has longevity issues. I don't know. It's right down the middle. It's moderate and the sillage is um, Very soft so it might not be um, something very good. I just want to try the smell because I heard it smelled really really good So I'm going to unwrap this now Here's the box it just has a pretty cool looking box actually. It has like this 28 on the side very small I've seen the first time I saw this house was at a um, store in Dallas and they had um, some really um, they have a bunch of them, um, and they have like uh, some really old ones. I think Tokyo Milk might have been around for a while because some of these boxes they had look extremely, extremely old. So we'll see. So, like I said, blood orange, patchouli, and I think it said some amber and maybe something else. Some people were describing it as resinous and whatnot. So here's the box. I think I can smell it from the from the box actually a little bit, which it smells very peppery, very spicy. So let's go ahead and unwrap this here. Here's the bottle. Actually, um, and here's how I remember it. Actually, it wasn't a group because somebody was talking about it because it had the octopus on it. That's why I remember this fragrance. Um, and so when I saw the octopus actually on the box, um, it reminded me of it. So I was like, okay, I heard this one was really good. But in eight bucks, man, um, I don't know why they call it. It's an EDP. Maybe they're, it's just a weak EDP. I don't know. But usually amber, amber fragrances, oak bark, patchouli, those fragrances usually last a long time. Um, somebody mentioned it was like, maybe three hours or something but um not, nonetheless really cool looking bottle uh, man if i if i open my own perfumery i would do something just like this black bottles maybe something plain and simple um this is really cool gonna spray myself a couple of times with my hand here see what this is about uh, oh the scent of the day is spice and wood so i might actually just be ruining my scent of the day but it's fine go ahead and put this in front of the ac for a second hmm okay it's not as like weird as people were saying on Fragranica. Definitely getting the patchouli. I'm getting that blood orange, so it's like a citrusy, kind of a creamy citrus. Dirty scent. Almost like there's vetiver in this. But that's from the patchouli, because the patchouli is usually gives a uh, gives fragrance to the dirty feel. Hmm. The blood orange in this actually makes it come off like a chocolate covered cherry kind of smell. It's not bad. I don't see how people only get a few hours out of this one, like they were saying. Especially with, well, it's amber resin. Don't know if, uh, you know, that's any different from regular amber. I guess maybe it is. It's very resinous, though. You can tell it's very, um, almost smells sticky, like a resin would be. Very thick. It is dark. Mainly what I'm getting is the patchouli and the, and, and the blood orange in this is giving it like that chocolate covered cherry feel. And I'm getting that chocolate feel from the patchouli as well because it's a little bit sweetened up from the citrus. Not bad. Um, can't see this being a crowd pleaser. Again, I, I probably need to wear it for people, but you know, it is pretty soft on my skin already. There's no oil sheen or anything. I mean, it's an auto parfum, so I don't know if they're using that term loosely. 
now it's kind of drying down to like an old manish kind of smell that's again the produce with the patchouli Hmm. I don't know. For eight bucks, I would say give it a try. Uh, if you wanted to try something new, uh, who knows? It, it could be a good co close quarter scent. It's not bad. It's not bad. I mean, out of ten, or, or I guess out of five, I would say. I don't know. Out of five points, maybe a three on smell. It's almost getting soapy now. Which is it's actually taking a better turn because soapy is always is always I don't I don't mind soap it just smells clean. It's getting a little bit sweeter and a little bit soapier. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. I give it a three out of five for eight bucks for a one one ounce bottle. That's actually a pretty good price if you guys want to just kind of try something new and. uh you know, see what it's about if, at your local market. If you find it, I'd say pick it up. I mean, seven bucks, like I said, eight bucks. Definitely make a good gift. You know, um, you know, take a spray. If you don't like it, just give it to somebody. Eight dollars can't go wrong. I'm not saying this is amazing, but it's different. It's different. It's it, it would be. I would say it's niche quality, just because it's so different. I'm not saying it's niche quality as in like quality that's lasting all day like normally <laughs> niche pro, uh, fragrances do. Actually, not a lot of them do. Actually, now I think about it, but you would expect with a niche uh, quality fragrance for it to last a long time is my point um, but for eight bucks get a few hours where this kind of just turn the day I can see you know wearing this I don't know it smells like it reminds me of like an like a antique store like a bookstore or something like that Not, that probably sounds bad but to me I actually like antique stores and bookstores so I don't know this gives me good feelings um, I'm probably going to hold on to this one actually it's only eight dollars big deal you know right I might, I mean, just overspray it, maybe? I don't know. Again, like, they had two in there. Maybe I'll just go back and get the other one. But I like this. The bottle looks really amazing. It's really cool. Got the octopus on there. Got the 28. Has the notes on the back and whatnot. Has some sort of, um, by Margot Elena. It's uh, on the side of the bottle there. I don't know if that's, like, the, the name of the house or the lady who, who runs the house or whatnot. Or the lady, the perfumer. Maybe the name of the perfumer. I don't like how there's a sticker. It's kind of a big sticker. I wish it was like written on the bottle, but I'm just being nitpicky. But Tokyo Milk Excess, I'd say it's worth a try. If you can get the same price I did, you're getting a decent a decent fragrance for eight bucks. So if you guys find this at your Marshalls or TJ Maxx for eight bucks, pick it up, give it a try. Let me know what you think about it. You guys, let me know if you've tried this one. Let me know if you tried Tokyo Milk Excess 28. Let me know what you think about it. And uh, let me know what your sound of the day is. Mine's Creed and Spice and Wood. It's one of my favorites now. It actually might even go well with it because it has like that dark woody feel to it and whatnot. So, all right, guys. So the next video, you guys take care. Thanks.